All right, here we are back again at your friendly neighborhood of good. And this time I am going to try to continue because uh, we have a kind of like a series of events here that I kind of want in here now. Um, one is was that Halfway was captured, but even better yet, we find out that uh, John's parents, real parents, are actually alive. The king and queen are actually of the Channel Lands are actually alive, and they're his parents. That that's got to be be the big reveal there. And um, hmm. Uh, we'll, we'll do it this way. Max gives John and his friends an ultimatum. Now, we're okay, so that's not going to work either. See, I'm just coming up with these different kinds of story blocks because of the way I, I, I wrote the story so far. Okay, so let's look at this logically. When is he going to find out that he is the long-lost prince, for one thing? Okay. We'll, we'll do it this way. Max tells John that he now has halfway and that he will gladly set him free if John gives himself up. Or else he's going. Okay. How about this? Max tells John that really he is his long lost father and that Violet really is his mother. No, because halfway would have told him that already early in the story. Let's do the thing where Max actually needs John to make his machine work because otherwise um, we'll just say that uh, John's family okay so we'll do it like that say um, Max reveals I'm stuck again, sort of. I'm not really stuck, but I'm sort of stuck. Halfway's not with him. Okay, Max reveals that John is the long lost prince. And that his, mo his real mother and father 
king and queen of enchanted lands are still alive and he would be reunited with them still alive then gives him an ultimatum if he doesn't give himself if um ultimatum doesn't give himself up he's going to kill halfway and the king and queen okay if he doesn't give himself up he's going to kill halfway and the king and queen however if he gives himself up he will release them He will release them. Okay. Now, why did I say that, right? Um. So he he's learning that he's the actual prince, and um. I'm going to assume for a moment, if I don't forget this, if it's you know not plot hole later, that. Uh, Halfway would tell uh, Halfway would tell John that uh, only uh, the king and queen and their family can actually um, work the magic of Enchanted Lands. They're the only ones with a connection to the Quicksilver. So, as um, so only he c can really work it. In fact, that's what that's what Max found out in his uh, his uh, in his banishment. In his um, what do you call that? What what do you call that when they've been banished? Anyways. He's being banished. He, he figures that out. And so he's finding a way of getting back into the land now. I, I do have kind of a, a problem with this, which is the fact that people with Quicksilver can get into Enchanted Lands. But uh, presumably... Well, let's just say that they have the, the power to... to uh, to utilize large amounts of it, we'll say. We'll say most people can, you know, have it and they can get in and out and stuff like that. They can't really do that much with the magic. Um, so, we're going, he's, he releases, he says he's going to release him if he gives himself up. Uh, and then, um, Despite the protests from his friends, he gladly gives himself up. So Max does actually, so Max, Max doesn't actually keep his word. But instead, injects him with Quicksilver, realizing he is the only person that can withstand it. Now, I, I don't know if this is a good for a plot point, too, if this is a 
so you know so it's pretty pretty wordy here so I might have to break it up or or maybe um, part of the gameplay maybe through some of that I'll have to figure it out I think but um, okay so now I don't want to go too far into it but uh, So, Max decides to use John to turn on his machine with quick with John's quick silver affinity. I guess I don't know if that's the right word, but we'll we'll go with that. Okay, so he need actually he needs John to help him turn on the machine. Okay, so now how does this thing all go down? So um, now halfway, the king and queen they're in there. Uh, Princess Karen and the rest of the guys are are still on the outside, so it's kind of up to them to help John. So, um, Princess Karen and every one else. gathers everyone together to take on Max and his army. While she decides she will try to rescue John. Okay. Now, I don't know if I do the whole thing of, you know, like an indie where where they use the fire to to break them out of that. Um We'll say this a little bit differently. Um, first, they make a plan to get the king and queen and halfway out of the of um, out of the goblin kingdom. We'll do that that ways. No, not the Goblin Kingdom, the um, the Gnome Kingdom. Then Karen and the Queen. Then, we'll do it this way. Then Karen, halfway, king, and queen. And queen finally decide to go and hopefully break John out of the spell. So they find him with the 
they find him around the machine as John is setting the machine up. Karen whispers something in his ear. We're going to say it's some sort of, like, you know, romantic thing, maybe. Um, uh, I'm going to have to go to the 20 minutes on this one again. Karen whispers something in his ear. And then the queen starts singing a lullaby that she used to to sing to John when he was a baby. The combination wakes him up. They proceed to they then give the signal for the others to attack and Managed to destroy the machine for good. And I realize I am writing a lot of stuff out for the climax. I don't know if that works for a climax. It, it looks like a huge wall of text. Part of it is just because it's big font, but part of it is just um, because I'm trying to get a lot in. So maybe in the future, um, maybe I can find a way to to let somebody look at this and help me out maybe I don't know maybe I'll just refine it well I'll just keep on working at it and keep refining it until it works so until the next recording I'll in the next video I'll see you later